Hello, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today, we are going to be finishing up a series on the Curves Adjustment Tool, and we're going to be talking about the individual color channel curves adjustment tools. And a little disclaimer at the beginning, this video is longer than I normally like making these videos. And that's because this is a little bit more of an in-depth topic and to talk about it at all, to my mind, means talking for at least a few minutes on the subject. So let's take a look here. If I come to the curves tool, we have RGB, which we know adjusts the contrast, but will have a saturation effect. The Luma option, which attempts to only alter the value at a pixel and not the saturation. And then red, green, and blue. And when we take a look at these, we will see those colors respect, respect respective histograms, which are then uh, superimposed in the RGB curve tool. Now, we should be able to immediately recognize that working with these is going to be different than working with the first two. And here's how. If I'm at RGB or Luma, and I look down here, I can find a little dropper tool. I can click on it, and then I can grab different points throughout the frame. And these I can use as my adjustment points for my curves adjustment. It's a fast and convenient way to be able to pick the point from which you wish to make things brighter or darker as you adjust curves. And that's all well and good, but when I come to the red, green, and blue channels, that dropper disappears. Now what's the reason for that? The reason is this. I'm in the green channel right now, and we're going to be taking a look up here. And we're gonna notice that when I highlight over a part of the frame, I get the breakdown of that pixel in the red, green, and blue portion of it. So I'm highlighting right now over a blue part of the image, something we would refer to as a blue pixel, but we'll notice that it has a pollution of red and green values in it. In other words, even something we would view as completely blue is not 100% blue. And the same is true if I hover over a green portion of the frame or a red portion of the frame, etc. So I can't use a dropper tool in the blue curves uh, histogram tool to grab blue values since they will be polluted with red and green respectively. Now, what does this actually indicate for us? It means that if I were to adjust part of the blue histogram, I'll adjust the blue values throughout the frame. In other words, the blue portion of every pixel in the image. And that will have the effect of doing a color shift. So if I wanted to shift my imagery and have a little bit more of a cooler tone, I can take my blue values and I can move them appropriately. I can do that asymmetrically so that my blue highlights are a bluer tone than perhaps the darker tones inside of the frame. And in that respect, it is similar to changing white balance because I am shifting color, but I can do it to a far more precise level than merely shifting the tint and the Kelvin of the image. So in this respect, if I want the entirety of the image to have a more cool tone to it or more warmed tone to it, I can do it through the curves tools and I can do it where it affects highlights differently than shadowed areas. That's where this comes into play. So coming into the blue channel, I'd be able to shift the color there. And of course, if I wanted to instead make the image have a warmer tone to it, I could start shifting my warmer, uh, my reds and deepen some of those values. This is something you're not going to use in every image by any stretch of the imagination. I, I think that you'll use Luma and RGB curves in nearly every image. I know that I do. But shifting the color palette of the frame or the way that red, green, and blue actually manifest in your image is a powerful thing to be able to do. And here's how you get to it in Capture One. All right. Uh, that's a that's a big conversation topic. Uh, have some fun with that. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.